Hello YouTube, I'm Dakota from Rotai Media and this is Matt. Uh, you may Hello. know him from uh, artwork such as this and this. Yeah, we are both longtime Monster Cat fans, correct? Mm, absolutely. When did you first get into Monster Cat? Uh, 2011. I've been listening to Monster Cat since the second week. Wow, okay. And I'm not quite like that. I'm a 2014er, I would say here. And so uh, we decided, uh, we met up and we're going to do a Monster Cat tier list by year. So go through 2011 all the way to 2024 and give our own uh, kind of, I guess, combined thoughts on uh, the, how much it did as a year, holistically in a tierless format mm -hmm. from uh, S, A, uh, B, C, and D tiers. Uh, so I, we haven't talked anything more about it. Like we, I don't know what your opinion is one way or another on a year. And so we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, <laughs> collectively agree on one each time, but um, you're ready to hop into it? Absolutely. That's 2011. Valid. So I uh, I don't have as many opinions as you do, I think, mm -hmm. on this because uh, you've been around for the early weeks. So like, yeah. what's a, what's some, what's I, your inkling where you would put it early? I'd, I'd probably put it like probably at an eight tier, not for the reason maybe mm. that like all the quality is there. Like over time, it, like obviously the quality's gotten so much better, but like it is such a grounding year to like kind of introduce you to a new world, a new, like, style of music that I feel like a lot of people, like, weren't, like, exposed to. Like, uh, and, like, it just, like, really opened up my mind. So that's that's kind of, like, my thoughts about it, you know? Like, yeah, there's still fair. so much stuff that, like, sticks with me from those first four compilations that I think mm -hmm. came out the first year. Yeah, because the first year, I think, was, what, one through four. Oh, oh, one, oh, four was, uh, got released through 2011. Mm -hmm. um, I would probably be, just for the sake of knowing what's coming down the pipeline, I would probably put this one personally lower, <coughs> um, <coughs> because it also started in July, like July 4th of the first one, yeah. so we only have half the year, and the releases were a lot more seldom. They weren't released, they weren't, like... You know what I mean? Like the first album was the first week of music. And so it just That's was, true. they're small compilations. So personally, I would probably put it lower, but what would you put it I want to honestly do like a C. Yeah. So we can meet in the middle for a, for B if you want. I, I, I can yeah? agree with that. Yeah. Okay. Let, let's, let's meet in the middle and let's put yeah. it in B. I just think I, I agree. It's a good, like grounding start yeah. to monster cap, but yeah. like, if your first year is your best year, I think you're doing something wrong. Honestly, yeah, yeah. not gonna lie. Yeah. And I and I'd be right. shocked if the staff or Mike yeah. said that the first year was the best year. So For I just sure. but but shout out to anybody who who started it out. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, and then 2012, the uh, through 2012, we had the uh, yeah. 05 to 11 was released in 2012. Yeah. Um, this was the real, like, things are moving. Things are getting going. Absolutely. Um, getting some brand new artists. I think this is Tristam's first release is in 2012, I think, or maybe 2011. Maybe I was going back too far. Okay, the end of 2011. But 2012 yeah. is like the start of like Tristam, like kind of doing some Tristam stuff. That's when Smashing Noobs came out, yeah, um, which is like, yeah, a, yeah. I guess, the EP that doesn't really exist anymore in some capacity. Mm. But... Um, oh yeah, and and Catalyst came out uh, in 2012 too in May uh, with the the Rogue and Tristan yeah, one. So this is like this is like classic old school like Too Simple Tristan yeah, and yeah. Stephen Walking. Like those are some yeah. classic ones. We miss you. Yeah, <laughs> ser seriously. So yeah. I like that being said though. Again, like I just feel like this is such a a build upon year. Like we're yeah. we're not we're not into the established norms as mm. much here. Yeah. I, yeah. I. Like, and plus there's still so much that, like, kind of has aged very well. Like, like mm. I see Dance to it on there. Yes. Like, I was listening to that yesterday, and it, like, mm -hmm. it still has that same, like, groove. Oh, Breakdown. That's yeah, Disconnected was there, too. Rocktronic. Yeah. Like, there's Rock some good stuff in good. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Televisor. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Run, Run Funk's turn around. That bass line was so amazing. Oh, yeah. the Phoenix. That, oof. Yeah, I, yeah. I just don't know if, like, holistically, though... It all aged that well, like because I went back to uh, the, you yeah. can go back. You're like, okay, like there's some good tracks, but like as a as a whole Absolutely. unit, yeah, yeah, as a whole unit, it's, it's scattered. Mm -hmm. but, but you did have 07 on here. You did have Soulless, which yeah, was like yeah, yeah. like the goaded old school mm -hmm. compilation yeah. of of tracks. And Absolutely. so I don't know. Do you do you remember specific moments from like when these were getting released? Like, because I I wasn't around. I joined later on in like kind of retrospective of things, but. Mm. Like, what was the community like back then? The community was, like, growing. I think there was, like, there there was a, like, a, like, a, 
it was far from being like twenty thousand hardcore members yeah. on Reddit and stuff like that, but people were like still talking and like really excited about what was coming out. And I think like there was still things that were like pushing the narrative, especially things like Truth or like like that O Seven Truth. I think was two thousand twelve. Mm-hmm. Um, I think so. Yeah, and like, uh, yep. yeah, and um, I mean, I, I it just like holds like a really you know, like soft spot in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. So where where would you put it? I'd 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 go with A. I mean, it's still it's such a like a legendary mm-hmm. year for Monster Cat. That's true. Yeah. I yeah I'm A or B again on this one. Yeah. Soulless that compilation really brings us up for me. But I know there's a lot of stuff that still feels dated. Yeah. Um. But, so if we if we're both saying A, let's do I, A then. I, 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 we I think, could I think we, we could put it in A. Right. Twenty twelve can go in A. Yeah. Okay, 2013, uh, compilation-wise, this is uh, 12 to 15. This is, like, the start of the established format in the compilations. This mm-hmm. is, like, we're getting to, like, 30 tracks now, and, like, yeah. it's taking some more time for things to be released. I think the the schedule became normalized, I think, in this era. It might have been at the end of mm-hmm. 2012, but, like, the three, like, Monday, Wednesday, Friday releases. and For sure. So, uh, this one is an interesting one for <laughs> me, because this feels like an odd year. I, I personally, like, yeah, there's some good stuff in here, but yeah. when I go back and do like when I joined in the community in like 2014 mm-hmm. there was a lot of stuff that came out then but then I went back to like the, the past year of like 2013 and I was like this stuff's like good but none of it was like super crazy for me and I would go back even further to like some of those like the early like Tristam Truth or mm-hmm. Too Simple or all that kind of stuff and so yeah, I'm less I, on fire for 2013 but what's, what do I, you think? I, I have like uh, conflicted feelings because like I uh, 013 and 014 came out that year which are like still some of my favorites mm. uh, Haywire had his debut okay, I believe yeah. um, I believe Pixel has his debut this year yeah. um, some of my favorite tracks like uh, One for All All for, All for One by uh, Raziel and Virtual yeah. Light came out uh, so excited for that new album mm-hmm. um, Full Force by Ramesses B came out that year the the Collide, uh, Barely, Reli- uh, Barely Alive, and um, Astronaut remix came out that year. Yeah. Yeah, that was always Yeah, really Till It's Over, Tristam. Yeah. Like, there's um, Apollo. P- Protostar had his, his debut. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I could also see, like, how, like, some of it doesn't um, age completely well for someone that might not, like be in that era while it's there. Like, something, like, but I, I, I still hold a lot of like love for it but I, I would give it maybe like somewhere between like a a b like a b maybe okay yeah, yeah i would say a b or a c for me as yeah. again personally on this so yeah. uh cool just for the sake of a variety let's put it in c yeah. i think we yeah. need some like sure some even though it may be higher up but it that's, can that's it no can, problem yeah I, I yeah I think we need some variety yeah i remember around 2013 is when i started getting really into the community and i had like a I really like uh, we had like a really tight knit group of about ten people like always like like calling every single day and like talking about like electronic music and like what the com- community was going up to. That's when it was yeah. like, really like getting solid. And yeah, I really, really loved it. Yeah, I would agree. Okay, twenty fourteen. Um, twenty fourteen is when I joined. The day that uh, sixteen got released in February of uh, of twenty fourteen mm. is when I. I first joined the scene and I da- and I bought the album right away. Yeah. The compilation. That's cool. Um, I think what was the Tristan once again? I think it was like the free yeah. release of that album. That was like a surprise was release. release? Oh, I think so. It was something yeah. like that. It was it was like a surprise release yeah. with the album or something. I think there's some incredible yeah. tracks from 2014. This yeah. spans from 16 to 20. Yeah. What was so, what was Ghost Town on? Oh, Ghost Town. I think that is, was a free release. Yeah, Ghost Town was a free release. That's yeah, that's 2014. That's November 2014. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I enjoyed Ghost Town a lot. I think I loved the... This run for me is my personal golden era of Monster Cat. Mm. So like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like this yeah. was... And I, I have some nostalgia bias being like this is yeah, my first yeah, join. Yeah. But I have such a, a, a sweet spot for um, this era of, of Monster Cat. I just felt like... I don't know. These compilations, the run from like 16 to 24-ish, 16 to tw- even 26 felt like monster cat in it's like prime like things were yeah. family felt like it was family there's a bunch of new artists there's still a bunch of returning artists there's some classics some big year mm-hmm. stuff and so yeah for sure this for me is an easy s tier but i'm curious to know what you think on this one 
Mm. Is it that good that it's S? Let's see. The top release, some of the releases this year, are like we had Messiah Scribble, Scribble uh, Haywire came endlessly. out with Twofold Part One, Snowblind. Yeah. Oh, I, new game I, came out this year too. Cheat Codes. Oh, really? I'm an S tier on this Rainbow I'll, Road, I, but I, I don't oh, know. I, I can go with S tier too. Yeah. Yeah. There's okay. so much like amazing stuff that came out. Okay, let's go 2014 S tier. Yeah. Uh, 2015. Uh, 2015 is 20 is uh 21 to 25 compilation wise. Mm. Um, this is where we had a ton more variety. Um, I think, if, I, if I'm if i mistaken, 23, I think, was the compilation where uh, they had one from every genre. Um, it was either 23 or 24, or actually, it might have been 25. It was one of those, comp like, one of these era, er, eras, or one of these comps was the one yeah, where yeah. every single genre at the time that Monster Cat That's was right. putting out um, had a, a, a one, had a release. So yeah. Rattlesnake came out that year. Karma Fields had his Yes, debut. yes. Let's see. So t some um, of the big tracks from 2015 are The Fire, um, Endlessly, Haywire, Inside Haywire, uh, Boy and the Beast, Puppet. This is like Puppet's era too. Yeah. Uh, World's um, EP came out at this time, the Chase It EP. Uh, this is the pressure stone bank this is yeah. uh yeah worlds again stone, this stone is nigel good too that that uh i forget the ep name mm -hmm. he, but chokehold was on that, that was yes amazing. yes um, ready and finally we're also amazing yes yes yeah. tristam's the vine was this year too yeah. my friend came out that year yeah, <laughs> yeah. i love my friend you know? yeah this is this is a solid year i oh crave tristam also came out this year and really? i think Laszlo, Law of the Jungle was, was 2015, I think. Yeah, no. Yeah. Crave is August 31st, 2015. So That's interesting. This is good. This is a good year. <laughs> I don't know if this is an S tier year for me, though. Yeah. I think this I, might I be... would give it an A personally. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would go yeah, A as well. There's also too. a lot of forgetful things that year, I feel. Yeah, there was, there, was, there was definitely some strong... This is another, like... This is almost like a building year within the good years. Like, this is like a... Yeah. After, like, a phenomenal year that 2014 was, it's almost like, oh, this is another just, like, steady yeah. year. Yeah, So, yeah, yeah. let's Fool, go. Fool had his debut that year. That was cool. Fool? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. They, his uh, debut EP came out there. Okay, let's do 2015 into A. Do you want to do left to right? Like, do we think 2015 is better than 2012? I think so. Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That's, that's fine. That doesn't necessarily matter that much, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2016 is uh, 26 to 29 in terms of compilations. Um, this, yeah, what do you think of 2016? Do you remember this one? It's gotta be. I think it's gotta be S. Yeah. Like I, just, just based off what I like feel in my heart. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I know. think there's a ton of there's, killer stuff this yeah. year. Let's see. There's Killing like, Giants. There's the Fierce Fleeting EP from Puppet. Yeah. Uh, this is Airglow, Laszlo, Do You Don't You, Haywire. This is Twofold, Twofold Part, Part Two. two. Yeah. Bon Voyage by Drew Lou, Tunnel Vision Subtact, oh Worlds by Design. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, compilation wise, 2016 was uh, kind of almost strange because that's when they started the um, like uh, the enemy. Like they, I think this is the year where they went and retconned. I think the older album arts too, because remember they looked mm. so bad to start, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they went back and like made the whole storyline kind of cohesive yeah. and monster get like crashing from another planet, and I think. I think this is where they started the like uh, fighting the, this, this, the consecutive story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the I think uh, twenty six resistance was where they like he was the one of him like fighting like kicking the other yeah bad yeah. monster cat. I don't yeah, know, yeah. Did they have a name even? I don't even remember. <sighs> That's a good question. I, I I remember they did, but I I can't remember. And then he just had eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess I guess that's twenty. Yeah, twenty sixteen also had the five year anniversary, which to me was like mm. the quintessential, like one of the greatest times in Monster Cat. Yeah. Like in terms of releases, mm. like were you? I don't know how, if you were actively involved in all that stuff then. Oh yeah, I was. But like the not knowing what each release was going to be next day, and yeah, then like hiding yeah, yeah, it, okay. and then it yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Then I think right after that they changed the. I think they got rid of stars and uh, the stars after the, this compilation. Mm, the stars. The YouTube stars. Remember, like the, the, oh, the, the, oh, the, yeah, the behind. They the, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then they started using the art for the five year and a. I, I feel like that would have been twenty seventeen because the first one was that drop tech release, and then that's when they. Yeah, and I thought that drop tech what came right after the anniversary. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm no, missing my. I don't think so. I think it was yeah, later. Yeah, rupture drop really? tech was the day after the five year anniversary, or wow. the right after the five year anniversary. Wow, dude, what a what a move. Yeah. yeah. So that was I, I I remember that pretty distinctly. I was at yeah. camp at this point, and I yeah. just thought the compilation was fantastic. I gave like super high scores on all those songs. That's cool. So, yeah. huh? I think holistically, collectively. I would probably give it S again on 2016. I think 2016 yeah. might have been my favorite year of Monster Cat. 
That's valid. ever. That's valid. So yeah, I'll go. I, I can go with S. Yeah, you can agree with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you put it above or below 2014? Below. Okay. Well, we can we can put it below. Yeah. Uh, 2017. Uh, 2017 was the end of compilations. Uh, was the move of Monster Cat going from? Yeah. Uh, you did. You didn't like that. You didn't like the compilations. I, I miss it so much. Oh, okay. Oh, like, I, you I mean was, like yeah. I miss it? I see. Yeah. Yeah. So just thirty released that year. It was the finale. Yeah. Should have been thank you. I don't know if you remember that. I remember Reddit, that. Remember that yeah, Reddit yeah, post yeah, they, where they 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 have their opportunity still. Yeah, that's time. true. The compilations aren't yeah. always over. We still have yeah, Silk yeah. Selects mm-hmm. and all this kind of new Absolutely. stuff. So. Um, this is when they br- like branded because I don't know if a lot of people even remember this. A lot of newer fans remember that a Muscat Uncaged was like uh, like the name of the compilations first. Like that yeah, wasn't that yeah, wasn't yeah. a brand. It was it was like just the name of the compilations. Yeah, they just changed yeah, it to yeah, Uncaged, yeah. and you still had the like yeah, pe- Instinct House style pe- songs. People were so uh, crazy about the branding change. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was just there for like the music. I thought, it was, well, yeah, like the quality was always there. Yeah, yeah. you had the Rocket League compilations too. This is the first year where they added. The the, like started doing some like intense work with Rocket League. Yeah. Um, let's see what were some of the big releases this year. Subside with a fixed on boss fight was here. Oh, um, Liar or Lyra with Mern was on was I this never, year. I, it was never about Lyra. No, I wasn't really either. Yeah. I, a lot of people really highly yeah. rated. It. I don't know why. Yeah. Uh, Disarray by Bad Computer. Uh, New Dawn was this New year. Dawn. Disarray was 2018. Um, oh, New Dawn was 2017. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. A lot like you, Zach Waters was 2017. Losing oh, You with Fixo was 2017. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dirty Phonics Side of Your Soul was 2017. Uh, Are We Still Young by Grant is this year. Illuminate, the Dumu EP. Yeah. Starship, Starship by Grant is 2017. Yeah. Neos. Yeah. Um, Neos by Gla- uh, Glacier. Nurture yeah. Glacier. Like This is this is wow. Glacier's big grow up. And yeah. Even Spitfire been Infected Mushroom is, I think this is their debut in 2017. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was a that was that was like one of those things where I'm like, oh, the the level of artists that like mm. are gonna like join Monster Guy over time is just gonna get bigger. Yeah, bigger. yeah, yeah. This felt was, like a, a, a like, turning point where like, yeah, oh, yeah. like you're sight, sight, seeing Monster Cat age as we're aging and, and going for on. Sure. So yeah, that was crazy. What would you, what was your first inkling of a thought for 2017 for tier list wise? I just remember it had like a bunch of like popping moments, but like overall, like it there that like I remember like there was like a little bit of time where like the releases were like a little bit scattered. So I'd probably give it like somewhere between a B and a C. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm leaning A or B. So I feel like we should probably put a B then. This yeah. was definitely like a, a, tr- a, a real. Like, I feel like a lot of people left the Monster Cat community after the compilations. Like, it, things yeah. were, just became different mm-hmm. after those compilations. And um, it was a very, I would say, like, transitional year for Monster Cat where I think they even didn't really know what they wanted to do necessarily with yeah. um, their sound. So, I, sure. let's put it in B then if we're right in the middle of, of yeah. that for 2017. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, 2018 comes and mm-hmm. this is uh, kind of started the formula of... Crab Rave. Yes. <laughs> Crab Rave uh, 2018, but for sure started the, this is the Instinct Uncaged uh, yeah, split yeah, too is this yeah. year. And so this is the established what Monster Cat's kind of doing nowadays. Yeah, it was a, I felt that was an exciting moment. At first yeah. I was a little like nervous about the Instinct because I, I like, I, my, a lot of my favorite releases like from, from Monster Cat are these more like chill like non-vocal things or maybe like mm. something in the glitch hop like era like inertia or something like that and and i all, i remember all the instinct things at first were um all vocalized not to say like it was like that made it good or bad but like i was all i was worried that there was not going to be any any non-vocalized things mm. anymore yeah 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 but, i know what you mean yeah yeah this one was uh this one was a, a, like a fun year there's a lot of like Different releases too. Yeah. Let's see some of the top ones. Uh, Overkill by Riot oh, yeah, came out this Riot. year. I think the whole album came out the in 2019. But yeah. this is Disarray, Bad Computer, Gravity, Laszlo, um, Contra, Pixel Terror, Only in a Dream, AU5, The Bliss yeah. on Mushrooms track. Oh, wh- I loved the first era of like the Instinct tracks, like the real Instinct tracks. I loved when they had Steven on for Play Me Like a Violin yeah, and was, the other one. The that double... was a really amazing like addition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember who even was the first. Rogue was one of the first like big guys that they had. They Do you remember the branding at all for the first? I want to see if I can find it right now. The um, Monster Cat did the Uncaged Instinct split and they had like this branding for like the first bunch of artists that uh, they mm. would have on mm. each compilation i, I remember. can't remember what it was oh here it is so the first like the the people that they branded as like the monster Cat instinct crew off the bat was like oh. vice stone didrick steven 
Grabbits, Rogue, uh, yeah. Jay Cosmic, Lucas, No Taker, Direct, um, Smile, Conroe, Luther, yeah. Jet, Jet and Johns. Like that was a like yeah. to me that got me really excited. Yeah. It was was the era sure. of instinct. A lot of those early Luther tracks were amazing. Mm, absolutely, I love early Luther. Yeah. So I, I'm tempted to put 2017 pretty high. Um, for me, that that felt like Monster Cat, like, because 2016 was a more transitionary, or sorry, 17 was a more transitionary year, and then 18 was like this, yeah. like, we're moving into something else now. Like, this is, oh, we're, we're establishing a formula, so. Yeah. I, I'd give it an A. The only thing that keeps it from being a little bit higher to me is that I think that's when, like, um, artists weren't as, uh, that artists were starting to be more one-offs that year. Mm, yeah. That's fair. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah, I would put it. I would put it a. Where would you want to put it in between here? Like in between. Yeah, in between. You think? Yeah. 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 Okay. Twenty eighteen. Uh, Twenty nineteen. Now moving on forward. The year before the <laughs> things exploded in the world. Uh, what did we think of twenty nineteen? <laughs> I think twenty nineteen had some absolutely banger tracks and EPs and projects. We had We Are Dust yeah. from Silent. The we had the EP. yeah the Slumberjack EP, the Just a Gent EP. Yeah. Um, was Glaciers? No, I think uh, this was twenty twenty. Cloud Nine had his debut, I believe. Oh yeah maybe i'm not i'm not sure wishes mm. on from grant finally came out this is internet boy by Dion timmer like there's some there's some nasty good tracks mm. here um that i this one felt like more like uh the whole i guess I should say the whole wishes ep from grant too but this one felt like it was more of no. the individual artists were really honing in on it like what's the word best way to put it i think this is the time where monster cat was like hey we've kind of done the compilations thing and now we're really embracing artists doing their own like packaged projects, which wasn't yeah. super common on Monster Cat back then to see like artist albums or EPs mm. um, as much as it is nowadays. Um, yeah. Because like, I, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like, because this is um, like We Are Dust. This is uh, Dogma Resistance, I think is this year. Yeah. Um, they're just felt like this um, is the year where like the, the artist LPs really launched off. Uh, uh... Boss Fight had his his debut, or maybe not debut, but he had his EP on Monster Guy, de debut mm. Monster Guy EP, Next Wave. Yes, yeah. yeah. Galaxies yeah. Within Us, the Kill Bre Paris album, too. Draken had his weird return. Oh, yes, yeah. the, the one-off weird yeah. return that sounded yeah. quite interesting to I, me. I liked it. Yeah? Like, yeah. I, liked I, it. I, was, I, I wasn't a huge fan of it, personally, yeah. but um, 2019 oh, also gosh. had, oh, it was, uh, sorry, where is it? Dark Machine. Had, I don't know if the album came out, but Shock One had his his. Yes, his, yeah, yeah. Dark yeah. Machine it came out twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a good one too. There was a lot of EPs and stuff that came out. I'm just looking through the list here. Yeah. Like, oh, this is Life and Death, Stone Bank, um, oh, yeah, Dogma really? Resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there was a lot uh, of stuff. Tails had his debut that year. Tails yes. is one of my favorite yeah. like, of all time. Yeah. Okay. yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Throttles, where you are, also this year. Oh, Reaper yeah. had his debut too. Cool. Hearts of the Universe, Peg Warner's, which I wasn't overly whatever fond of, but. Mm. Um, talk, uh, the talk EP from Dumu, even Eptics, Flesh and Blood. Like, there's wow. a lot of stuff that came out this year. There is a lot of good stuff on there. I, I would be tempted to put 2019 pretty high in the, in the yeah, list for me. I would say that's an A or an S. Yeah, I I would say S. I would say this yeah. is the last S. Per personally, I don't want to spoil anything more, but I would personally say this is the last I, S I, for I, me. I might not agree. For me, for me. So let, let's put it in S. Let's put it at the end. Let's yeah. put it at the end of S. Cool. Uh, 2020 uh, had a lot, and this was uh, the year that I, like, I don't, I, I'd be curious to know how it was for, like, Monster Cat's side of things, but I felt like, personally, this is when I started the channel, like, Bowtie Media was 2020, and this is where mm -hmm. things felt more... It felt like the the comeback of things, or because everyone was online. I I could see like a new wave of people like getting into the to the scene, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It still had it was it still had its like old feel, you know. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Twenty twenty had the nine year anniversary, which was the kind of throwback tracks. Like this was the like what they did like the eighties and seventies and nineties or whatever with like mm. the Better Off Alone remix, Around the World, Children. Like yeah, Wish EP from Cloud Nun came out uh, twenty twenty. Glaciers Temple Inward. Wish um free. butterfly effect coven came out this year the mm. oh i guess the potions remixes <laughs> yeah. a little a, a little side note hypnotized by uh blue stone came out that <laughs> or stone blue that was such a great and that that yeah. was like the first trance release for quite a while i mm. remember and that was like it was such like a like a nice feeling to have such a great like uplifting trance track come out of nowhere like that Dang. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was, I don't know, if, uh, I don't think this, This. I think that was the only time they did this, where at the Christmas, when they did yeah. the remix chain, 
If you remember the yeah, the, the like yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. how did that, it start that was again? Always really cool. Yeah, I, I um Margarita and Mojito came out that yes, year. Yes, that was big great, releases. Yeah. I, this year I think was very dominated by like uh like Ellis, Cloud Down, and Glacier. I would say mm-hmm. like this was a. Uh, like the big heavy tracks, there was. I remember a lot of sentiment for this year being where Uncaged felt like weaker, almost. Like I don't know. That was that was my personal sentiment on this one. Yeah, I think I'm looking through some of the releases that year that I really liked, and there were like a good amount of like Uncaged stuff. But like Instinct really does take over mm-hmm. this list for me. Where would you put this on a tier list? 2020. Hmm. I'd I'd go at somewhere between A and B. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Um. You pick A or B. I'll go with I'll go with B. Okay, let's put it on the top. I'll put it up on the top. Yeah, yeah put it on the top. Yeah. B. Uh, 2021. Uh, this has now really established essentially the formula that we're at now with the addition of Silk uh, yeah. joins the fray, and I can't remember what when it was exactly, but um, this is Silk joining. It was early on. It was yeah February February 10th was uh, Shingo Nakamura's Glow. Yeah. So the year started yeah, off least. pretty quickly, and this is now this established sort of three brand three identity. Uh, yeah. style of got going with monster cat so yeah yeah bad computer had his really experimental mm. really cool ep that year yes um some of my hi- other highlights were like uh blue Cl- blue claire's uh um oh yeah uh debut or maybe like um hmm uh, i don't know like uh drinks on me I, I, yeah yeah and oh i i was really excited uh for the addition of Silk, like, because of, like, I'm a real, like, chill garage type dude, and, like, mm-hmm. artists like AK were getting yeah. on the label. I thought that was super exciting, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you like the Melodic House stuff, too? Because we had the, the Vintage and Morelli and Ariel Marin. And that was, like, a, yeah, that was actually really great. We, we had that one, and we had the Shingo Nakamura album. So we had, like, yeah, two yeah, big yeah. Silk release albums. Yeah, the 10-year anniversary album was really good. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. What did you think about that holistically? Like, mm-hmm. the idea of, like, a throat, like, songs that were, like, maybe weren't finished, yeah. You know what I mean? Cuz I I I liked the idea of like an old school throwback kind of something, but mm-hmm. also like it felt a little weird because they were like like yeah, they were so they were they, not it, finished it, songs yeah, like yeah. yeah, it I mean, I I I liked it for the for like that reason you said that's basically, fair. you know. Like I I I kind of just just to see like what could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that's that's very yeah. fair indeed. Yeah. Um, what else was 2021? Danny, uh, Danny Lay, or mm. had, uh, "Be with You" is still one of my like favorite songs of all time. Yeah, Monster Cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off Sky had his debut. Uh, mm. Tony Romero had his album that year. Yeah. Um, this year for me felt different. I, I'm not gonna lie. This year, yeah. holistically for me on Monster Cat, felt like there wasn't as many big players in the game. Like. No. I think it, I love the uh, establishing this newer like Silk era for Monster Cat, but it felt like the main artists of the past were like were were handing the torch off. Like it felt mm. like there was there was yeah, an yeah, era yeah. had gone. Yeah, it was a recognition yeah. that Monster Cat really wasn't yeah. Yeah. what it was before. I, I I could definitely agree, and um, I think that would that would probably leave it somewhere in a. a Maybe a B to C tier as compared. I, to I would say C. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. personally, I've, I've, I'm noticing through my like favorites lists and stuff like that that this is actually like the least um, monster save, heavy saves I've, I've oh. had of any year. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's put it in C then. Let's put it put it down in C. 2022 had some big tracks like um, Yesterday No Mana, Just Dance, Bad Computer, Out of the Dark No Mana. This is uh, Fly again, Bad Computer, The From Here VIP, Cloud None, yeah. Dead Man Walking was 2022, oh, your, Umbra, your Ace Aura. Yeah. Um, I, I I was a fan of 2022. Well, 505, Cyclops, uh, Tynan, and Guild Chip, I was a big fan yeah. of too. Uh, Leo Tricks EP came out that year. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. you like that? I, I've never been the hugest Leo Tricks fan, no. not going to lie. I, I, I really like I really like his style of like dubstep. It's all like out there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, just not my necessary style. Yeah. Uh, the Agony District Boss Fight EP came out this year too. Mm. Uh, what else was a lot of my favorite silk tracks actually came out this year? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Silk Road or like um, Z- Zensei and Mr. Hill yep. yep. stuff came out that year. Uh, <laughs> ding dong, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ding <laughs> the classic silk song, ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Um, ding dong, uh, yeah, I hmm. I don't know. I I this is actually also like a really low save year for me. 
Yeah, I feel like two for me. Like I look so back at this. Ted, the Teddy Killers double sided single came out. So oh yeah, I was a big yeah, fan of the. Even, I was a big fan of the B one that didn't actually yeah. get re- the main release, but. Yeah. Yeah, this is another year where I just felt like it wasn't um, like you had your your big players like you know Man it was getting more established and Bad Computer had a great year too, yeah. but it just felt like it was a little more of a not yeah, much it happening. Just what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually this might be the only one I'll put it a D. I would agree. Yeah. I think even just for the sake of it being like a what, the sake of adding some variety to yeah, the, yeah, to the yeah, tier yeah. list, it's not it's it's not. A, like not it's not a necessarily the, the, a bad year it's just yeah. their worst if that yeah. makes sense like because their worst can still be good yeah most so. importantly we got the first funk track of us <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes absolutely the, yeah. the the true uh, yeah. uh thing to remember out of that absolutely. one absolutely uh 2023 moving to 2023 we had some big uh tons of big albums a yeah. ton of artists had albums on this one um, mm-hmm. Skybreak really started to launch himself on the label a ton. Mm-hmm. More Bad Computer, Calling Us was this year. Accelerate, Temonite, Temonite, and Skybreak. Yeah. More Cloud None, yeah. Feeling Free. The, the Pegboard Nerds and uh, Boss Fight Club, Power Play. Yes, yeah. yeah. This is Haywire, White Lie, too. This is oh. Grant, High Enough. Um, the Just a Gent, Pondering Minds one. Uh, mm-hmm. Grab It's Hero. Uh, Lightbringer, Skybreak again. Like, there's some... There's some good stuff on here. Yeah. Full Speed, Topi and Have was on this was this year too. Mm. I felt like there was yeah, I felt like this year was the another like almost turn where even more so the recognition that we're pushing a lot harder on like artists yeah, albums. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like obviously compilations have been fully shut down at this point, but um it's like we're going yeah. hard on artists yeah, release their own this, albums. This, last year is when they made the the, the five release a week switch, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. That so been... I think like that really eventually. At first, I was skeptical, but that really did heighten the quality of like the label overall, in my yeah. opinion. I would and, agree. Like I think like it, there, it's just been a super big net positive, and like it, it's yeah, like yeah. I would mm. very much agree with you in yeah. that sense. What else would happen here? The Machine... Uh, this is uh, Thrones of Blood came out this year. The Fool album. Yeah. Destination Heartbreak is this oh, yeah. year. I'd like to shout out Mirrorball by AMR. Yeah, That's okay. A great, that's a great song. Uh, um, yeah, BT, The Secret Language of Trees, another Silk one there. Yeah, uh, Drifter <laughs> by Thirst and Chill was great. Yeah, you'd be a fan of Drifter? Yeah, I didn't yeah, mind yeah. it that much. Yeah. Uh, but most importantly, this is The Diesel. This is Shaq's album. Oh, it's, it's yeah, 2023, yeah, 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 the end of 2023. The Arm and Hammer one, which I was okay on for the most part. But yeah. uh, I actually really did like the, yeah. the AMR, the whole that yeah. whole album. I, I also thought like it, it, it brought a lot of... Um, experimentation that was lacking for a while, like That's things fair. like like Take Two or Head Case, um, were like really like cool to like kind of have like have around or like some of like Hex Opera. There was nothing like that mm. kind of like crazy um, big opera sound that was on Monster Cat for like quite a while. That was yeah. really cool. And um, uh, I don't know, uh, even stuff like uh, Pondering Minds by Justin Jen. That was like really experimental and really cool, in my opinion. It's, as yeah. far as a house track, I've never heard a house track like that before. Yeah. Um, so I think it like a really just like holds like a cool place in my mind. Like feeling feeling free is my still like my most played uh, song for Monster Cat of all time. Like this, this is definitely an S tier year to me. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think it's okay? I don't know if I would do like an S tier year, but yeah. I, I think just in terms of like the moves they made to make the label more improved and like some of the like the changes that they were making that just like like kinda like made the scene like that much more fun, like really just like sticks with me. Okay. I personally would say this is a B year. Whoa. So I think we can meet in the middle for A. I wanna take this outside. But <laughs> <laughs> I think I will lose, but yeah. um, hey, hey, I'm cool with A. Yeah, we can put it on the top of A for you. How about yeah. that? Or, yeah, maybe just below 2015. I still love 2015, sure. so we'll put it right there. Yeah. Uh, and then finally, 2024, this year, which has not come to an end, but as we're filming mm. this, we're almost into October. Um, and so we've got uh, uh, two-ish months because yeah. they kind of shut down in the middle of December. Yeah. But I, I will say this year I've had the most saves of any year ever. Really? Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. big. We had a ton of big stuff already. We've had the Mr. Bill album. We've had the Dirty Phonics album. We've had the Great. Bishu album. The Great. Nigel Good album. Great. The what did I say? No mana album. Like great. we, like we've had a ton of stuff. Already. The thirst mixtape. Great. That so great. <laughs> veggie games, which I didn't really love a ton from Infect, but I, um, I liked it. Yeah, so yeah. I think the early on in this year, I think we were cooking, and then later on in the year, which we've come to now, uh, <laughs> the year of 
what mega releases of the mm-hmm. like artists that felt like they were never going to show up on Monster Cat showing up on oh, Monster Cat yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah. what Alan Walker Rez yes. Virtual Riots back Steve like Aoki. yeah like they're just um, tons of the like huge names yeah and even like I think this year has brought out like a good amount of names that I've never like heard of like mm. Resurrect or recently like yeah. Nathan, Nathan Keller and like and every I can't think of a, too many debuts that have not like stuck with me. Yeah, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, I think it's been a pretty good year so far. I I I don't know if I think the I love the name value of like ton of ton of these big stuff. I think the albums have been the real stand up for me mm-hmm. this year. Like the big projects from like your No Mana or Mr. Bill. Yeah. Um. I I haven't been as on fire as much for like the Alan Walker release or stuff like that, but. Um, I still think yeah. it's been a pretty solid year. Where yeah. where would you put this? You think? Um, I'd put it. I'd put it at a. I'd put it at an A. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Just just for the fact that like it's not over. Yeah. Yeah. I I would say A too. Maybe at yeah. the end of A for me personally. Yeah. Or maybe yeah yeah. What um you know I actually I was gonna ask what your favorite release of the year is but I think that's for a new video. But yeah well eventually I I actually don't even know what my favorite release of this year is so far. Really. I can't think of like I'm, right off I'm the bat. Go, if, oh. Since, since I, this is going to be one of the one or two videos I'm on, I'm going to go with either Out of Frame by Skybreak or um, Strictly for the by Moss. Mm. Yeah, like um, I hope I hope that guy comes back. Like he <laughs> is such a good, a unique producer. Yeah. yeah, I think Pyroclastic, like the yeah. Chime and Skybreak one, that's one of my favorites. Um, I love some of the No Mana stuff. Um, I think there's a ton of things from the Mr. Bill, Nads Are Good, and No Mana tracks that are mm-hmm. like, I'm like, oh, these are these are some top tier tracks for me that aren't necessarily, or weren't necessarily like singles. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I can see that. Yeah, I I'm, I actually, you may just saying this now, I'm very curious, and I, I don't know what my list is right now. If I had to like, if, mm-hmm. if we had to do like voting right now for best of, I don't know what I could, I don't know what I would do, but yeah, um, yeah let's uh, look at this list holistically at the end here. Let's see. So D tier 2022, I think is fine to say. 2013, 2021 is in C. 2020 to 20 uh, or 2011, 2017 is B. Yeah. 2015, 23, 18, 12, and 24 is A, which is a very interesting like um, variety there. Like you've yeah. had like early 2012 and now 2024, which goes to show that like mm-hmm. even though Monster Cat may have its ups and downs for us or what we perceive to be ups and downs, um, they're still yeah. consistently like a top so, label always, in, in the industry. Always so. pushing always pushing the boundaries. Yeah. And yeah. then obviously your S of twenty fourteen, sixteen and, and nineteen. I would agree pretty heavily with that. So Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's cool. That's our list, I think. Hey, what what's your biggest hot take of this? Like I we, think twenty thirteen is robbed. <laughs> yeah, you think so? You yeah. think it needs to be better? It needs to be higher. Mm, that's that's probably my bad then. Yeah. But um I yeah, that one's but um, My- if if I had to give another hot take, maybe maybe twenty nineteen, maybe twenty nineteen is not an S. Mm. But I forget what I said. So, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. It's hard to remember what we thought. Yeah. Uh, my biggest hot takes, I think 2023 is lower, personally. Really? I, I don't think it should be A. I, I didn't, I specifically remember ending the year 2023 and being like, wow, I I think in my Spotify wrapped, only I had two Monster Cat songs in 2020, really? like in 23. So that was the year for me personally where I started mm. really like being like, yeah. I'm not like everyday Monster Cat let's, listener. Let's see so what mine says. True. Yeah. Um, oh, your first one's Monster Cat. Yeah, I, have, so. I have three. I have three in my top five. Yeah, I only had uh, two in my entire hundred. So that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, was I'm guessing high enough? Might have been one of them. Yeah, I think high, I'm pretty sure it was high enough and um, feeling free. I think those are my my one two from, from 2023. Yeah, yeah my so. the three in my top five are feeling free, mirror ball, and restless by one heart. Yeah, yeah. You know, just to let everybody know. Yeah. Okay, well, that's our final list. Um, if you want to also go and do this yourself, uh, the link will be in the description uh, for doing the the tier list on the the tier list maker or tiermaker.com. So go ahead and go for it if you want. Um, thanks, Matt, for being here. This is super fun. Yeah, thank I, you for having me. This yeah. is cool. It's fun that you did a massive road trip to, or you're doing a road trip right now to be all over. And so yeah, yeah. Um, just to stop by and talk about some Monster Cat stuff. So. Yeah, dude. I'd love, I'd love to do nothing more. This is like... Like, I love Monster Cat. Like, it's been a constant throughout my life, and it's so cool mm-hmm. to, like, share the passion with people. So Yeah, it's really interesting, to, particularly because I don't I, I don't think there's many of us left, I'll say, of, like, old, like, I would say pre-2016 or 17, or even pre-Uncaged Instinct Split. 
yeah. um, of like dedicated Monster Cat fans that are still mm-hmm. necessarily in the community. So yeah, yeah, yeah. if that's you, comment below. We want to hear from you. So yeah. and if you disagree. Uh, flame me, not him. Yeah, <laughs> it all depends. My t- it could have been my take. Yeah. Maybe they love 2013. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media. This is Matt, and we'll see you guys in another video.